Hello, this is Eli, talking about the protection key. As we said, the end user machine needs to have a protection key uh, in order for the application, the protected application, to be working. To be working. Now, this protection key can be uh, either type of SL or HL. Uh, I'm not going to elaborate about this. Let's concentrate about uh, a dongle and HL key, or as it is called. Sentinel HL key. So, the Sentinel HL key is a unique protection key for every vendor. So, every vendor has its own batch code, and we uh, usually call it by a specific uh, uh, specific string that identify uh, this vendor, and this is called a batch code. But surely, uh, every protection key of, of every vendor will, would fit only for the application of this vendor. And uh, so we have a division, a separation of every vendor as its own specific keys. They look the same, but they have different batch code and therefore they can be only used for the application of, of this software vendor. Now also, every protection key has a unique ID number if you would like uh, to track it where, it where it goes or something like this, but it is uh, not a mandatory thing to, to do. And the most important thing to understand is that every key has inside it the license. When talking about the license, let me show you in the next slide. When talking about the license, we are talking first of all about feature. And feature has a number, like feature number 7 or feature number 9. And each feature also has identification of its license terms. For instance, feature 7 is perpetual, and it is burned inside the Sentinel HL key. This means that feature 7 will always exist for lifetime, and therefore, if the uh, application needs to be using feature number 7 and this key is connected, always feature 7 will be found. And here we see another feature, feature number 9. The numbers are not uh, important. Every vendor can use his own numbers for specific, for specific purposes. In this uh, example, feature 9 has an expiration date, meaning that it will be working only until May 2020. So this means that until the, when the application works and, and needs feature number 9, it will find it until there, it, it's going to be expired on 2020. These features also can be included inside a product. This product name is uh, ABC. And in the Sentinel HL key, in addition to the features which as a matter of fact, are the licenses that rep that, in that represented are represented inside this Sentinel key. Also, there are two types of memory. One is memory read-only, and the other one is read-write. This memory can be used uh, by the software vendor in order to put data or to save data uh, during the the runtime of the application. But read-only uh, is a memory that one one can, uh, I'm sorry, the, the software vendor can put information inside this memory read only, only when he first burned this key. He cannot uh, manage and, and manip manipulate the memory content during uh, the application runtime. But the memory read write is a, pla is a place where uh, the ISV can uh, use uh, during the application runtime in order to write uh, information such as, uh, uh, for instance, uh, secrets or uh, information about how, how, how much time or how many times the application has been invoked and used, etc. Uh, all this kind of information, of course, is, is in, inside the Sentinel Edge key, so it is uh, very, very organized and also secured, no one can see exactly what is going on inside and of course not, no one can manipulate it. Um, so uh, it is very secured and can be used uh, only for vendor application, protected application. Thank you for watching.